What's up guys? So in today's video, I just want to show off my entire clown pie project, all the codons we got on top of that double recessive, and how I plan on making my mail. <laughs> What's up YouTube, it's Baker. Welcome back to Blue Line Morphs, guys. Everybody's doing really well. It is Memorial Day weekend, Saturday. Uh, here on Long Island, it's raining really bad. So no real barbecue going on. Uh, however, it's pretty good for you alone. I just put seed down, so I'm happy about that. So I caught us outside, loving the rain too. She's just wandering around. Other than that, guys, everybody's doing really, really well. Uh, no real update. Couple of girls are in pre-lay shed. Got the five clutches in the incubator. Probably another four or five on the way, depending. We'll see what happens. Uh, next week will be my first egg cutting, so hopefully I get the, I'm gonna get the hashing racks fired up today, and we we'll get some babies on the way. I'm really happy about that. That's gonna be the banana and pastel butter fire. To the coral black pastel trick Mojave. So my luck to be all white snakes. So we we'll get a bunch of bells and whatnot we'll in them. Anyway, other than that, guys, nothing else really going on. I'm head over to Sal's house shortly. Go with pythons. Gonna pick up some rats. Hopefully, I got a feed day than I had the last couple times. Um, other than that, we're going really well. I'm really happy. Everything's smooth and easy. So. Um, if you follow my channel, you know what I'm into. I like clown pies. Um, obviously, my logo literally is a clown pie. So I'm really happy about where my clown pie project is right now. Uh, to this year, potentially producing some clown pies. Um, we'll see what happens. So today's video, that's what it is. I'm going to go through every single one of my clown pie project snakes. Uh, talk about the codoms that are in them, how I'm planning on making my mail, what I've been pairing up this year, what I'm going for, and so forth and so on. So today's video is going to be just that. I'm going to show off each one. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven or eight snakes that are potentially in my clown pied project. A lot of codoms. So I'm really happy about that. Really proud of how I built this up, especially recently. You guys have probably seen some of these snakes, but today's going to be all of them together. So I don't know how I'm going to do this. I haven't really planned this out. I have two double visuals, so I guess I'll hold them off to the end. Let's start with the most mundane, probably the easiest, right? Uh, then we'll talk about my mail, what I plan on making my mail, the two mails that I have. We'll, we'll talk about that in a second. So, first and foremost, I got this girl right here. She's about four years old. She is really nothing special. Uh, she's just a normal. Uh, she's po she's 100% het clown, possible het pied. I got some serious markers on her, though. So, I'm, I'm thinking she's going to probably prove out, uh, especially on this side. Uh, on curl. I'm thinking she's gonna prove out. I'm actually done something this I year. Get that. Could you try again? That's rude, Siri. Um, I'm thinking she's gonna prove out to be hep pied. I don't really know. I we might actually prove out this year. So hopefully she does prove out to be hep clown. Supposedly she's under has hep clown and possible hep pied. So got those markers. We'll see what happens. But we're gonna try to prove her out this year. Um, I'll show you how. So I'm gonna skip over right into a mail real quick. This male, uh, you guys have probably seen a few times if you follow my channel. He is the brother to my Batman female that I picked up from Empire Joe from Empire State Exotics. He is, we know 100%. He is a pastel, butter, leopard. We think red stripe, 100% red stripe. Possible spot nose, possible hep pied, okay? Uh, the reason why I'm showing him now, he's got these little, I guess you just call them markers, little uh, ringer there. I'm not entirely sure. He's possible hep pied. I think he might prove out. We're thinking he's red stripe too. Uh, def definitely pastel butter leopard. Most likely red stripe, possible hep pied, possible spot nose. The reason why I'm going out of sync now and showing you this male is he's actually locked up with that girl I just showed you, that normal girl, het clown, possible hep pied. So we're kind of going for a home run here. I figured why not? I was going to put him, he's young. He's only about seven or eight months old, but he has 700 grams. I was going to put him with a normal pied female that I have over there just to try to prove it out, but I figured go for the home run. Why the hell not? Kind of asked you guys, you guys told me to do it. So we did it. So there is two confirmed locks. She is eating like a savage. She is kind of cooling a little bit. She's not bowl wrapping, but she's hanging out on the cool side. So I'm hoping to see, hopefully, we hit some clowns. Uh, worst case, you prove out he's got spot nose in him. Prove out if he's got red stripe in him. Best case scenario, I would love to see an all-white snake, right? That means the lesser pie. It means they're both head pied. So we'll see what happens. Either Or maybe get a nice clown pie without, without butter in it. That would be cool, too. So we went for the home run there. We'll see what happens. Just trying to see what's up. Or I could have screwed myself. And instead of proving out they're both head pied by putting them to pies, um, we won't want to do next year. Either way, she's not going anywhere. It is what it is. Let's move on. Uh, the other next girl, another do this is a double head girl. She is the longest tenured clown pied female that I have. Uh, again, she's het. She's not actually a visual. But she, she's 
about a year, a little bit over a year now, a year and a half old, and she's sitting at about 12 to 1300 grams. She is a yellow belly and she double head clown pie. So I'm really happy about that. Uh, she's an absolute beast of an eater. She has slowed down recently. Not really worried about it though, because she has 12, 1300 grams right now. She's a little feisty, but she'll definitely be ready to go next year. Uh, not, not sure if I'll have a male. We'll see what happens. Maybe he'll prove out, or maybe we'll talk about what I try to do this year. That's kind of happening. So this is one of the pieces of my double hats that I have for my clown pie project. This is the yellow belly and she double head. So, so far, and what I've showed you guys so far is yellow belly and she, okay? Double head clown pie. It's at about 1300 grams. Um, she'll be ready next year. Will she be bred next year? I don't know. We'll see what happens with the male situation, okay? Let's keep this moving. Uh, this girl might be in shed. Not entirely sure. Yeah, she's in shed. She's not looking that great, but um, you guys have seen her in another video, so I'm still going to show her off a little bit. She is one of the girls I picked up recently. She's a blackhead pinstripe doublehead clown pie. This is the girl I got from Renowned Reptiles. I originally wanted the pastel blackhead uh, pinstripe doublehead clown pie. Uh, trying to be a male, did the right thing, gave me one of his holdbacks. Actually happy about that because I got pastel in a lot of my shit. So I really don't need more pastel. But here's here's another piece I just got. She's only about 230 grams right now. Um, probably won't be ready next, absolutely won't be ready next year. Probably late two seasons from now should be good to go. I'm really happy to get that blackhead uh, involved in my clown projects. Never mind my clown pie projects, okay? Blackhead clowns are absolutely sick. Now the next, this girl and the girl I'm gonna show you next are both darker morphs. Everything else from here on out is lighter, including the girl I just showed you. So this is the second piece that I have. We'll be ready for another season or two, but she is the blackhead pinstripe doublehead clown pie from Renowned Reptiles. Really happy to get her in my collection. Really stunning animal. Um, I really like what pinstripe and blackhead does together. Again, she's not, she's in shed, so she's not looking that great. We kind of see the pattern, the color and stuff like that. She looks this good in shed. I love the way she looks. You can only imagine what she looks like when she's not in shed, which you guys have seen already. We'll keep this thing moving. And the girl next to her, everyone loves this girl. Everyone loves this. Another girl's in shed. God, maybe I should have held off making this video. Whatever, it is what it is. Um, this is my GHI Mojave Doublehead Clown Pie. She's in deep shed, so she's looking like shit too. But you guys have all seen her before also. I kind of wanted to make this video, so it is what it is. Anyway, she is about 300, 350 grams right now. She's eating like an absolute beast. She's a little undersized for how old she is. Um, the guy I got her from, um, you know, he was just maintenance diet. Wasn't feeding the way I feed him. But either way, she's an absolute beast of an eater. She hasn't missed a meal for me yet. She's put on some really nice size. Don't anticipate her being ready to go next year. She'll be right along there with that blackhead pinstripe girl. Nowhere near you, honey. Can't see, I understand, you can't see. But she's the GHI Mojave double head clown pied female. Um, really happy to get her in my collection. Really happy with the last two girls you saw her and the blackhead that she has that extra, that, that dark jeans to her, which I don't have in my clown projects at all. Never one of my clown pied projects. I'm really happy to get this combo in clown pied and also the blackhead involved in the clown pied. I'm gonna put her back before she tags me. But those are two, those, those three last girls I just showed you the double heads that I have. So playing the double head game, but there's a lot of jeans in there. Just showed you yellow belly and she blackhead pinstripe ghi and mojave all involved in my clown pied project then of course you have that normal girl as pot head, head clown possible head pied so we'll see if we prove her out should be a good addition just to try to pop out and go for the long run so now i'm going to show you my two uh double visuals that i have the first one now you know why i don't want any more pastel um they both have pastel on them one's a super this girl right here is a breed ready female she is 2016 she's playing the the ball python game but she is a, a pastel clown pied female she's about 1900 grams she's eating pretty good uh, i'm gonna talk about her in a second when it comes to the male when i've been trying to pair up but i picked her from my buddy uh aaron over there at a collier reptiles can you see it right there blocked off another, another cop over there in pa definitely check him out he's got a lot of super red stripe stuff uh really good looking animals he's got over there in that collection but here's my first visual uh, double recessive she's a pastel clown pied okay she was proven she hasn't laid eggs in two years but she's eating really well she's a really good looking animal i know it's pastel but mm, double recessive you can't go wrong love this female uh it's big be ready good to go really happy to have her in my collection now the last female that's part of my clown pied project females at least is the girl that i picked up before vacation that i've been paying off for a while 
Now I have my Killer Leopard Clown that laid about a month and a, about a month ago. Uh, I love Killer Leopard Clowns. I fell in love with them. When I came across this girl, she had a little bit of stuck shed. Uh, I fell in love with her too. She was really expensive. I put some money down on her and I paid her off over the last year. She's finally here now. Uh, couldn't be more excited. She's older. She's 2019 female. She's only about 700 grand, but she's a killer leopard clown pied, right? So super pastel leopard clown and pied involved. She's double recessive visual female. Uh, she's been eating like a beast. The guy that I got her from was an older gentleman over there in Colorado. He didn't have the means to feed her all that much. He actually apologized for it. Offered to give my money back uh, because she's a little undersized for her age. But I was like, mm, fuck no. I want her. All right. Uh, so with that being said, she's been eating like an absolute beast, eating two meals, a, two smaller meals a week for me, put on some nice size. I anticipate her being ready next year just because she is older and she'll probably be in that 14, 1500 gram range within a couple months. We'll see what happens and we'll see what my projects are, uh, maybe late, late next season. So I'm really happy to have her, my, my, uh, project, my, uh, my collection, my project in general. She's an absolute gorgeous animal. Cool as shit. Um. I would say probably one of the most valuable animals I have in my collection. Really happy to have her. Uh, couldn't be happy to be honest with you, especially where, where it's grown so far. So that's great, right? I got a couple double heads, possible double head, and two double recessive uh, visuals for my clown pies project. Now what am I gonna do at male-wise? Obviously, if this guy proves out up here to be double, uh, to be clown and then be head pie with the red stripe, that's really interesting. I want to get that involved. However, with the butter in him, it kind of might be detrimental because I'll be popping out some all white snakes. The plan is to use this guy right here. This is the Aussie pie boy that I picked up about, a, about eight months ago now. He has been a pain in the ass. He has not eaten in about four months for me. Um, he hasn't really lost any weight. He's about, I would say, I'd be close to a year old now. He's about 500 grams. He's orange dream, yellow belly, pastel, fire leopard, pied male, okay? He's not head clown or anything like that. So originally my plan was to pair him with that pastel clown pied girl. And I really want to hit him, but head clown, okay? Uh, so my goal was to hit a pat, hopefully not super, but a pastel, orange dream, yellow belly, pastel, preferably no pastel. If I could hit an orange dream, yellow belly, fire leopard, pied male, head clown, I would, I would be the, the goal too. That's what I really want to do. But ultimately, I want to kind of reproduce him and have it be head pied, all, a head clown also. I have put him with that, that pastel clown pied girl I showed you before, the big breeder. A couple times they were lined up. He was definitely trying. Did I see an actual lock? They weren't locked locked, but they definitely were lined up. Um, I spoke to him a couple times like a jerk. However, I'm going to try to get a meal in him this week. I really need him to eat, get her to eat. And because it's raining a lot, uh, he's going to get another chance at the title. So that is the plan, is to make my male from this guy in that, that pastel clown pied female. If I get it this year and pump out a male and get him ready for next year, that would be obviously ideal. It's not looking like that's going to happen. I'm not overly concerned about that. Uh, I'll give him another year to put on some nice size, get him back on food. We'll also get these other girls up and going. Worst case scenarios, what I'll do is uh, the double head girls will just keep putting on size. And I'll pair him next year to both the double visuals that I have. The kill a leopard clown uh, pied female and the pastel clown pied female. I'll, I'll pair him with both of them next year and hopefully create some nice uh, pieds with a lot of codons on top of it that are also head clown to kind of hopefully the girls that I have that are double head, we're ready to go the season after that. And I'll have a good mail for them. That is the goal. But either way, I'm really happy about where my clown pie project is right now. If you go through the list, I have Pastel, Yellow Belly, Enchi, Blackhead, Pinstripe, GHI, Mojave, Orange Dream, Fire, and Leopard all involved in my clown pie projects right now, okay? Uh, couldn't be more happy about that. Maybe Red Stripe might get thrown in the mix too if he turns out to be head, uh, pie also, and she's head pie. Uh, the normal. We'll see what happens. Uh, again, I, I gotta be careful because he has butter. I don't want to get uh, all white snakes. I guess you use a black light to see if it's clown, but I really don't want to do that. Either way, guys, um, from last year, wanting to get into clown pies to having just the, the one double head right here, which is the Enchi Yellow Belly double head, to now having some really solid double head girls, two visual uh, recessive girls, and plus having a really powerful pied male, hopefully produce my own hats or so forth and so on. I'm really happy where we are right now. Uh, I think I'm right there along with other people with the Clown Pie Project game. In the next three years, give or take, I should be producing some really nice Clown Pie projects. Uh, you know, Blackheads and GHM Hobbies, all types of stuff. So I've really, I'm really, listen, straight up, I'm really proud of the way I, I, I've developed this. I have a lot of genes in here. Um, 
some dark, some light. You can obviously get more involved. Uh, but I'm happy. I'm very happy. I think in the next couple of years, should be producing some really nice clown pied stuff. But there you have it. That's my entire clown pied project. Uh, how I plan on making the males possible head up here. And then all the, the three double head girls I have. Then the two actual double visual girls that I have. Yes, I know they're both pastel. It is what it is, man. I, I, I like to kill the killer leopard clowns. I do. Never mind having pie involved in there. And the pastel clown pie girl kind of popped in my lap. And I think you'd be kind of foolish to not jump at the opportunity to have a, a proven clown pie female uh, in your collection. Regardless if it's pastel or not. But either way, really happy with the codoms I have on top of them. We're doing really well, guys. Hope everybody's doing great. Uh, I'm not too sure what my videos will be this week. I got to try to plan that out uh, the next couple of days. But uh, other than that, guys, listen, I appreciate you watching. Uh, let's keep moving this thing along. We're closing in on 5,000 subscribers, which uh, I'm really happy about. It's pretty impressive to me. I didn't think we'd get this far. So if you haven't done so already, please do so. And, you know, subscribe, like, comment, share, etc. Check me out on Instagram, blue underscore line underscore morphs. We're going to keep this show moving, guys. We'll keep this thing moving. Uh, we're going to head over to Sal's house now. Thanks for watching, guys. Be safe. Please remember... Watch your six.